Alrighty, so we got more stuff today. Uh, show you guys a few things. We got a Young Jeezy T. It's pretty sick. Delta paper tag. It's a good one. Um, just went to, I wanted to go to two stores. Didn't make it. Kind of crunched for time. Uh, so I had to make do. We got a pair of men's Under Armour golf pants. This is the showdown pant. Uh, sometimes it says it in there. It doesn't say it on this one. Uh, you can just look up the style code. Style code is on this little tiny tag here. It'll be under the big tag with all the numbers and stuff on it. Um, this is a really small size, like a 30-30 and uh i don't know i have i have a few under armor golf pants i pick them up when they are on the cheaper side i don't like paying up for them uh, and i got these never saw these before it's a pair of men's jeans these are really weird inside i don't even know if the light will be able to show. like you can see how they're like kind of like sparkly inside vintage jeans black uh, not a ton of them listed, but the sell through was okay. And these were, um, 50% off. So these were only like three bucks. Um, figured I would take a chance on those. I had a lot more stuff in my cart, but when I went to go, uh, I like to just check through everything in my cart. I go up to the front of the store right before I'm about to leave and I hold everything up right in front of the window. So I have the natural light coming in. And I check everything for stains and stuff like that. Um, and just I had to put so much stuff back. Because it uh, either had like stains or holes or something. I had um, a pair of men's Lululemon joggers. Uh, that had like a cigarette ash. What I would assume is like a burn from cigarette ash. Uh, right on the crotch area. So, uh, sucked having to put that back. Um, I'm not going to mess with something like that, you know, trying to, uh, clean it or fix it or whatever. It's a waste of time. And then, um, and an LL Bean, I'll, I'll show you, I, I'll show you the one that I got, but I got an LL Bean, uh, fleece lined, uh, flannel. Um, but it was a vintage one. But, like, the sleeves were just a little too gross. Uh, the cuffs were gross. I don't like when, um, like, uh, old shirts, like, the sleeve cuffs are all, like, yellow and gross and everything. I just, I don't know. I don't like it. Um, you know, it's just, like, normal wear and tear. But that's just something that I look at that I don't really like. Um, there's a few things I had to put back. I can't, I'm, like, drawing a blank right now. But, uh, there I had... Sorry, this is my cat. Can you say hi? She likes running in here. She heard me talking. Um, this. L.L. Bean. Fleece lined. It's the Sherpa liner. This is pretty nice. Uh, this is a women's 2X. I grabbed this one. There was another one, like I said, it was a vintage one. I had to put that one back. Uh, this one was really nice, and um, I wanted to get this thing listed really quick. Price it good. Hopefully get it out the door. Um, then we got this, uh, like a men's vented fishing shirt uh, by the brand called, uh, oh my God, I can't read it. The brand is called Game Game Guard. Game Guard. Nice quality stuff. Um, first time picking that up. I've never seen these before. I wouldn't pay up for them. Nice stuff. Decent sell through. Just don't pay up for it. You know, you're looking at maybe like twenty five bucks tops for something like that. Uh, then I got a Gym Shark tee. I know there's like. I, I feel like there was like a Vero on this for eBay. I've sold a bunch of Gymshark. I've never had a problem. Um, so use caution. Do your own research. Use caution. 
then this one this is like top tier fishing brand poncho it's a very good brand good stuff this one even has like a company logo on it but it's really hard to tell it's just white um this will still sell hopefully uh very quickly uh the sell through on poncho stuff is insanely high um just like really nice quality stuff. The pockets, I mean, I don't know if they're all like this, but the pockets are magnetic. Um, get a little magnet action for you. Uh, not too many people showing magnets on YouTube, so I have to do it. I have to do that for you, showing you the magnet, the action, the contact of the magnets. Not something you see every day. Um, I had a couple other things. This I didn't get today, but I, I don't remember if I showed it uh, yesterday or not. But I got a Johnny O linen shirt, new with tags. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, this is something that will pop off in the next couple months. Um, I just think that's a, this is a nice item to have in the store. Um, that's like all I have near me right now. That's all stuff that I have out right now. But just... Uh, we're still plugging away over here trying to get as much good stuff as i can for spring summer um not much else to say i guess uh if you're out there struggling looking for stuff you just got to dig deep you know it's it's hard out there especially if you're just going to uh like uh what the, what you would call the retail thrift stores um stuff's expensive you just got to be really careful how much you spend that's what i'm doing i just watch how much i spend i put a lot of stuff back you know some stuff is just not worth it uh it doesn't matter like if it's a good brand or if it's really nice if the price isn't there it's it's not there you know and you just have to put it back maybe you can get it on a discount day or maybe it's just not meant to be i don't lose sleep over it um i buy plenty of stuff that you know, people leave behind because it's too expensive. And I probably leave, you know, three times that kind of stuff behind. Uh, it's not a big deal. You know, we're, we're looking for uh, the stuff that works best for us, right? So what works best for me is, you know, grabbing this stuff that I can sell very quickly. Because I, I got to just be so careful how much I spend. I got myself in trouble few months ago like over buying and everything and uh money's just really tight so that's how we do it uh maybe i'll make another video tomorrow thanks for watching